Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today we're going to make a slightly kind of abstract arrangement. And my inspiration for that was this self made container. So, this container I made yesterday, and it actually kind of came from you know the big kind of cardboard roll, um, rolls that you get, or inners that you get in like a roll of cellophane or something. I had big cardboard tubes and I wanted to do something with them. So I ended up using them to make legs. So what we're gonna do is just show you a series of stills that shows the process for making this actual container. And uh, this material here is the dried husks of uh, sweet corn, actually. And this paper here is um, a Japanese paper that you can just rip to bits. And what we've used inside is a um, polystyrene sphere, but essentially, it's a homemade container. And it's a little bit funky. And what I liked about it was that we could make something that's a little bit kind of autumnal. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use some floral foam. And this little oasis dish just works perfect for that. So we're going to get the bit that we want to soak. And not everyone knows how to soak oasis. We do get asked quite a lot on our comments section. So what you do is you just drop it into water and then you leave it to literally sink down. Now that will only take about 20 seconds, 30 seconds. It's not going to take long. So don't be tempted to push the oasis or the foam under the water surface. If you do that, you'll create a bubble within it. So as you can see, that's now soaked. So you really don't need to, to force it. It does it really quite quickly on its own. And um, we're just going to use a little bit of tape just to hold that into our dish. So the great thing with this little dish is it actually fits in my sphere quite well. So we can just root that in. Now that was something I did think of when I was making this container was that essentially it's quite light because it's cardboard and polystyrene and dried materials. So if you're going to make something that's particularly heavy or has heavy materials, you're going to want to keep that in mind that you're going to either need to add weights into the legs or add a weight into the base. You're going to need to add some weight to give it actual physical balance. So our materials for today, I've got these beautiful canna lilies and uh, I've got some zebra grass and as you know, I can't resist. I love these uh, dahlias and uh, I just love the colour of that dahlia and I think it's just the perfect colour to go in this arrangement. So the first thing we're going to do then is just strip off one or two leaves from our zebra grass. Now we could go in any direction, but what I quite fancy doing is making something that's quite upright with a few elements that come kind of more sideways as well. So a little dilly petal in there, we'll get that out. And this is really just kind of setting our structure. And I want this to be really like an all-round arrangement, so I'm looking to make sure that this works in that way. And probably our next key piece is to go for this tall can. And we're just slotting that in. So I'm using a knife because I, I find the knife is really a great way of giving a clean cut to the materials and if you do that it will allow the materials to last that little bit longer as well. So 
So what I'm doing is I'm also, um, as I'm creating this, thinking about kind of three. So if you were look, to look down from above, is there things going in three different directions? That works very well for giving you balance. Um, and not just physical balance, but visual balance as well. And what we've got here with the leaves is we've got a little bit of a line of leaves going through it. We've got a little bit of a line of the heliconias as well, uh, the cannas as well. Now with my dahlias, I really wanted to use them more to base this arrangement. So we're going to cut them short, and I know that seems like a real shame, but it's fine. It's not bad. I think as well, we're better going with it on a different plane. So yeah, we want to just bring these in. So I must admit, I'm quite traditional and I like foliage and um, it's very easy to, to fill things with foliage. So in a way we can use these dahlias to stop us from having to do that. essentially got our arrangement done, but what we're looking at now is really just some details. So I have some of these little pieces of the sweet corn and we can just add them in and I can just use the container itself just to actually catch that. And this is just going to give us some interest down at the base of our design. You also need to be able to step back and have a little look and decide, have you got enough? Have you got too much? You need to know when to stop. But I can't resist these little buds of the dahlias. So we'll just put in a few of these. And again, this is picking up on that round shape of the container. Giving us a little bit of interest. I mean, that's so cute. You're really seeing that bud in contrast with our other flowers. And I know this, you might be thinking this isn't really a commercial design, but they don't always have to be commercial. It can be nice to just make something that you will enjoy. Now this is actually the, the seed heads of the canna. I'm thinking this is quite nice as well, it's quite interesting. So really a design like this, you're kind of getting the chance to showcase various elements of material that you wouldn't normally look at. So looking at this canna, you'd think, oh, that's dead, I'll just deadhead it, and then that's that. But the reality is it's interesting in itself. And... Don't want to waste anything, so I've got one more little bud. I'll just look for a little place to pop that. 
And there we go. We've got a rather funky, slightly autumnal, little bit different sort of a design using a homemade container. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, then click here to subscribe and we look forward to seeing you soon for our next design. Thank you.